What's up you guys, it's Deepoy and today we will be creating this holographic text effect in Photoshop. Now we have already created one video on the similar topic so if you want to check out that video then the link for that will be in the card above or in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows. Width is around 3840 pixels, height is around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now we need to fill this document with that of a black background. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then you can set the color as black and then click on ok. Now the next thing we need to do is type in our text. So for that select horizontal type tool. And then you can select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also, if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. And then set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 450 point and then click on the foreground color and then set any random color at the moment, which will be the color of our text. Anyways, it won't matter since we are going to remove it later on. And then you can click on OK. After that, using the horizontal type tool, you can click on the document and then type in your text. So once you are done with the typing, after that you can click on this tick icon in order to place it. Now we need to place this text at the center of the document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. And then select move tool. And then click on align horizontal centers. And then click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now our text has been placed at the center of the document. Now after that you need to make the text layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to convert this text into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. So now as you can see now our text has been converted into a smart object. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the color from this text. So for that we need to reduce the fill of this layer to 0%. So let me just do that. So as you can see as you set the fill of the layer to 0% it removes the color of the text but the text is still present over there. Now we need to fill this text with that of a nice gradient color. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as gradient overlay. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and then click on the gradient icon which will give you a pop up in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white. And then you need to double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 655-4cc and then click on ok and then double click on the rightmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows D44AD4 and then you can click on ok after that you can click on ok and then make sure you untick this reverse checkbox and then set the style as linear angle is minus 90 degree scale as 40 percent so now as you can see now our text is again visible and it has been filled with that of a nice gradient color now the next thing we need to do is add some yellowish color on some portions of the text so for that select the option as set in and then we need to set the blend mode as normal click on the color icon and then set the color as follows fd ff b6 and then you can click on ok after that set the opacity as 100 percent angle as 0 degree distance as 78 pixels, size as 250 pixels and then you can click on the drop down of the gloss counter and then select the option as ring and then you can untick this anti alias option and then untick this invert option as well. Now let me just show you the before and after of this set in effect. So for that clicking on this checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. So now as you can see now our text has been filled with that of yellow color on some random portions of the text. Now the next thing we need to do is add some bevel and emboss effect. So for that select the option as bevel and emboss. And then set the style as inner bevel. Technique as smooth. Depth as 600%. Direction as up. Size as 150 pixels. Soften as 5 pixels. And then make sure you untick this use global light option. 
and then set the angle as 120 degree, altitude to 20 degree and then click on the drop down of the gloss counter and then select the option as ring double and then make sure you untick this anti-aliased option and then set the blend mode of the highlight mode as lighten, click on the color icon and then set the color as follows CA, FF, BF and then click on OK and then set the opacity of the highlight mode to 100% and then set the blend mode of the shadow mode to overlay click on the color icon and then set the color as previous that is CA, FF, BF and then click on OK after that set the opacity of the shadow mode as 45% now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss effect so this was the before and now this is after so as you can see it adds a nice green color and adds some shine and depth to the text now the next thing we need to do is change the color near the edges of the text so for that select the option as stroke and then set the size of the stroke as 10 pixels set the position as inside blend mode as normal opacity as 100% and then set the fill type as gradient click on the gradient icon which will give you a pop up in order to select the gradient now over here as well we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then you need to double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 4E, 6E, EB and then click on OK after that double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 7C, 2B, E3 and then click on OK after that you can click on OK and then make sure you untick this reverse checkbox and then set the style as linear angle as 90 degree and then set the scale as 100% now let me just show you the before and after of the stroke option so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image so this was the before and now this is after so as you can see it adds a nice color near the edges of the text now after that let me just zoom out again now the next thing we need to do is add some glow near the edges of the text so for that select the option as inner glow and then set the blend mode as linear dodge opacity as 25% noise to 0% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as white after that you can click on OK, Technique as Softer, Source as Edge, Choke to 0% and then set the size to around 45 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow option so for that let me just zoom in a little bit. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see it adds a nice glow around the edges of the text after that you can click on OK. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. So now as you can see now our text is looking somewhat like this. Now the next thing we need to do is add some bluish color onto some portions of our text. But we did not do that because we did not have an option in order to add one more set in layer style. So for that we need to create a duplicate of this layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to remove all the layer styles of that duplicate layer. So for that right click on that layer and then select the option as clear layer style. And then we again need to set the fill of this layer to 0% so let me just do that. Now again go to add layer style option and then select the option as set in. And then set the blend mode as normal. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows. 9B F6 FF and then click on OK. After that set the opacity to 100% and then set the angle as 100 degree. Distance as 50 pixels and then set the size to 250 pixels. And then click on the drop down of the counter and then select the option as ring. And then make sure you untick this anti aliased option and then untick this invert option as well. Now let me just show you the before and after of this set in option. So this was the before and now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is add some outer glow near our text. So for that select the option as outer glow. And then set the blend mode as screen. Opacity as 20%. Noise as 0%. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows. F9, FE, 6C and then click on OK. Set the technique as softer, spread as 0% and then set the size as 135 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow option. So this was the before and now this is after. Now we need to add one more outer glow but as you can see we don't have an option to add one more outer glow layer style so for that we will use the drop shadow as an outer glow. So for that select the option as drop shadow. And then set the blend mode as screen. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows. FE, ED, 5F and then click on OK. Set the opacity as 25%. Make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as 90 degree. 
distance as 0 pixels, spread as 0 percent and then set the size as 30 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow option. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see it adds more glow near the edges of the text. After that you can click on OK. And then let me just make this image fit into the document. So now as you can see now our holographic text is ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add some sparkle reflection. So for that we need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. And then we need to select brush tool. And then click on the toggle brush panel icon. And then you can select any sparkle brush of your choice. Downloading for the sparkle brush I am choosing is in the description below. And then go to brush settings option. And then you need to make sure that you set the opacity of the brush to 100% and then set the flow of the brush to 100% as well. And then click on the foreground color and then set the color as white which will be the color of our brush and then you can click on OK. And then using the sparkle brush you can click on the document where you want to add some sparkles. So as you can see as you click on the document it adds a sparkle over there. So like this way we need to add sparkles at multiple locations. So for that we need to keep on rotating the brush. Also we need to keep on changing the size of the brush as well. Now if you want to rotate the brush then all you need to do is change the angle from this checkbox. So as you can see as you change the angle it rotates the brush as well. Now if you want to increase and decrease the size of the brush then all you need to do is press the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Now using the brush tool you can place the sparkles at multiple locations so let me just do that. So now as you can see now we have placed the sparkles at multiple locations now let me just close this brush panel. So now as you can see now our holographic text is almost ready now the next thing we need to do is add some noise onto our holographic text. So for that we need to merge all the visible layers into a single layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus Alt or Options on Mac plus Shift plus E key of your keyboard which will combine all the visible layers into a single layer. Now we need to convert this merged layer into a smart object so for that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. And then we need to add some noise onto this layer so for that go to filter and then noise and then select the option as add noise and then set the amount as 10% distribution as uniform make sure you untick this monochromatic checkbox now let me just show you the before and after of this noise filter so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image so this was the before and now this is after after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document so now as you can see now our text is looking much better. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this holographic text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.